Scott and Main, 910 miles. Woohoo! Good morning, everyone. It is day 142 of my Appalachian Trail through hike. Uh, it is 10 o'clock, 75 degrees, very, very humid, very, very buggy, but it is the last section I'm doing of Pennsylvania. So we are heading into the Delaware Water Gap today. We have 15 miles. Um, we've done, well, I've been hiking an hour and I've done 1.7 miles. So the rocks are real today. Uh, it's taken me a bit longer to navigate through them. My feet are so tender from yesterday. So another reason I'm probably going slower, but I'm super excited to be done with Pennsylvania. You don't even know. So yeah, that's the plans today. We're heading into Delaware Water Gap uh, on the cusp of getting out of Pennsylvania and into New Jersey. So um, yeah, I'm just in get to town mode and I want to get there. I don't even know if I'll be, I'll probably stop to rest my back, but I probably won't stop very long. Um, yeah. So if I see anything cool, I'll turn the phone around, let you see. But right now I'll show you what I'm dealing with. These, these little babies are out here. And yes, my, uh, instep is bruised from yesterday. I knew it would be and it's tender, but my toes, I'm telling you, it's my toes that are so tender today. Uh, these rocks are just, uh, I can't wait to get out of them. I know when I get into New Jersey, I'm still gonna have some for a while, but man, that's, there's not one state that I, had thought, wow, I just really want to get out of this state. Uh, but, or, but Pennsylvania, yes, this is the state I just want to be done with. Anyway, but we have to d get through it, so there's no other options. All right, um, I think we have a chance of rain today. I'm hoping not. I really haven't even looked at the weather forecast. It's going to be what it's going to be. So, uh, I think I might be hearing thunder, actually. Maybe it's a plane. Anyway, let's get on down the trail and get into Delaware Water Gap. Look at this area here. It's kind of cleared out with some really skinny, smaller trees. Oh, look what we have. We have some ferns. It's kind of damp down in here for sure. Look at these little, two little mushrooms sitting here. Look at these little fungi. Little mushrooms. 
They are different. These are new ones. Never ending rocks. <sighs> All right, so I stopped here at the spring to get some water. I see the air is coming up through the spring. It's kind of cool. And that flows down that way. Flowing water, always good. Bugs are bad, as you can tell. <laughs> Wow, now look at this trail. Hardly any rocks on it whatsoever right now. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, the bugs today are so bad. Give me a break. Alright, so in about a half mile, we are coming to PA Route 191 or 161. I think it's 191. And there's a trailhead there, so maybe if we're lucky, we might get some trail magic. Like ice cold soda pop would be fantastic. Alright. Let's get going. Got to get there. All right, so we made it to the Cook Kirk Ridge shelter. Um, you go to the left and go up to it, I suppose, but we're not going there. We are heading north to Delaware Water Gap. And it is right now about six miles away um to the I don't know if it's a trailhead or a parking area or maybe both but that's how far away we are um and then we'll probably be doing some road walking to on into town so all right let's go our first view of the Delaware water gap pretty view Ah, uh, and it's nice and breezy up here. Another little view for you. Man, it's hot. Ooh. Too hot. Look at this pretty little house and flowers. Out here in Delaware Water Gap. It is the end of day 142. Just to recap, we left Wind Gap this morning at 9 a.m. Made it here to Delaware Water Gap and it was hard. It was a hard day. It was, our feet were already sore from the day before. It was uh, long, it was hot. It was rocky, and I'm glad I'm done with Pennsylvania. I'm glad I'm done. But anyway, we're waiting for our food to be delivered, and then we gotta go throw laundry in, and yeah, then we're gonna go to bed. That's all there is to do. See y'all tomorrow. Bye.